Feminism in Pakistan is a set of movements aimed at defining, establishing, and defending equal political, economic, and social rights and equal opportunities for women in Pakistan. It is the pursuit of women's rights within the society of Pakistan. Like their feminist counterparts all over the world, feminists in Pakistan seek gender equality, the right to work for equal wages, the right to equal access to health and education, and equal political rights. Feminist and women's rights consciousness in Pakistan has historically been shaped in response to national and global reconfiguration of power including colonialism, nationalism, dictatorship, democracy and the global war on terror. The relationship between the women's movement and the Pakistani state has undergone significant shifts, from mutual accommodation and a complementary ethos to confrontation and conflict. The word feminism is a taboo in Pakistan and has taken as a serious abuse. History After independence, elite Muslim women in Pakistan continued to advocate women's political empowerment through legal reforms. They mobilized support that led to passage of the Muslim Personal Law of Sharia in 1948, which recognized a woman's right to inherit all forms of property. They were also behind the feudal attempt to have the government include a charter of women's rights in the 1956 constitution. The 1961 Muslim Family Laws Ordinance covering marriage and divorce, the most important socio-legal reform that they supported, is still widely regarded as empowering to women. First phase 1947–1952 In 1947, Muslim women did not have it easy, they were some of the worst victims of the traumatic events that took place in the South Asian region in the mid-20th century. It's reported that 75,000 women were abducted and raped during the partition, sooner after Pakistan's independence Fatima Jinnah took part in refugee relief work and formed the Women's Relief Committee during the transfer of power, which evolved into the All-Pakistan Women's Association. Later on Fatima Jinnah set up a secret radio station to running for president when it was perceived to be a man's role. These are some of the empowering stories that are often left untold and very few people talk about this effort of empowering women in Pakistan. Begum Rana Liaquat Ali Khan helped the refugees who fled India during partition and also organized the All Pakistan Women's Association in 1949, two years after the creation of her country. Noticing that there were not many nurses in Karachi, Khan requested the army to train women to give injections and first aid. This resulted in the paramilitary forces for women. Nursing also became a career path for many girls. She continued her mission, even after her husband was assassinated in 1951, and became the first Muslim woman delegate to the United Nations in 1952. <laughs> Feminism through art and literature No one highlight that one of the pioneers of women's liberation in Pakistan was actually a man from Lollywood, Pakistan's film industry. The first feminist film was called Orat Raj Women's Rule. It was released in 1979. It was a huge droop at the box office despite the fact that it was made and released in an era when the Pakistan film industry was dotted by thousands of cinemas and a huge cinema-going audience. Topic: Psychological impact. The psychological development is reflected in the portrayals of fiction women characters in Pakistan's movies, dramas, novels and poetry. The fiction writers of Pakistan have tried a lot to portray an ideal picture of women enjoying equal rights with men. While doing so, they indicate the psychological development of women which can be traced in the development of various women characters. Psychological development of women character in Pakistani fiction creates a source for the empowerment of women in Pakistani society. Pakistani women writers have done this more vigorously as compared to the counterpart. However, these writers have not succeeded to change the mindset of majority men and women both. In the cities, majority still think that the women dominate the money rather she earns or not, she will spend all on shopping and it is the only and utter right of her and this is sole definition of feminism in Pakistan. Topic. Movies Topic. Drama Topic. Publications Topic. 
Books Feminist organizations of Pakistan Alliance Against Sexual Harassment at Workplace AASHA All Pakistan Women's Association APWA Convention on Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women CEDA Democratic Women's Association DWA Gender and Development National Commission on the Status of Women NCSW United Front for Women's Rights UFWA Women's Political Participation Project Women Action Forum Turek e Niswan the Women's Movement Sindhiani Tariq Sindhi Women's Movement Blue Veins Orat Foundation Society for Appraisal and Women Empowerment in Rural Areas SAWERA Acid Survivors Trust International Pakistan Federation of Business and Professional Women Young Women's Christian Association YWCA Pakistan Women Lawyers Association Women's Action Forum WAF Topic Pakistani Feminists Fatima Jinnah Begum Rana Liaquat Ali Khan ASMA Barlas Pakistani American professor at Ithaca College and author of Believing Women in Islam, Unreading Patriarchal Interpretations of the Quran Mukhtaran Bibi, Pakistani Advocate for Rape Prevention and Women's Rights Zaib un Nisa Hamidullah, Pakistan's first woman columnist and editor, first woman to speak at Al-Azhar University, and author of The Bull and the She-Devil Rifat Hassan, Pakistani-American theologian and scholar of the Quran Zilla Huma Usman, Pakistani politician and activist, assassinated February 2007 Benazir Bhutto, Prime Minister of Pakistan, assassinated December 27, 2007 Naida Mahmood, Pakistan-based first feminist English poet Malala Yousafzai, Pakistani activist for female education and the youngest ever Nobel Prize laureate See also Acid throwing Honor killing in Pakistan Modesty patrol Rape in Pakistan Swara Vani Women in Arab societies Women's organizations based in Pakistan Women's rights Women in Pakistan Islamic feminism Women in Islam References External links Dr. Salima passed away founder of the Pakistan Federation of Business and Professional Women's Organization.